Hello everyone, this is day 22 of the admin training. In this day we will talk about the report. We all know that what is ticket and then uh, we all are mostly work on a ticket, right? So ticket is nothing but incident, problem, change, uh, any kind of things we call as a ticket, right? And then this ticket normally assigned to a particular group, particular user, those ticket got assigned, right? So report can help us um, to identify that how many record or how many ticket I am working in a graphical representation. Let's say that last seven days I got 49 incident and within 49 incident in progress state is 2 and then uh, you know on hold state is 10. So we know that in a graphical representation that how many tickets are in which state in a very graphical representation. That's the reason we need the report. We'll also talk about the report source. We'll talk about the uh, dashboard. Dashboard is nothing but a board here there will be multiple small small reports so we want to know the last seven days incident last 30 days incident last 50 days incident if you want to know that uh, we can create a dashboard and inside the dashboard we can add multiple you know in um, report there so there will, there will be a small small report attached in a board that called dashboard we can also do a scheduled report Every week we can send a PDF or Excel to the user, uh, desired user and they can, um, so that they don't need to visit the service now, they can check their mails and they can find out that how many records are in progress, like, like complete report can be sent via email. And then interactive filter, interactive filter like a, there will be a drop down filter where you can put that uh, value and based on that it can be uh, the dashboard or the, all the uh, you know report will be in track on that so i'll show you all these details in our service the instance so let's go back to the service now developer instance and see how it looks like that so this is our pda environment and in this pda environment we are going to build the report various kind of report so let's say that i want to build a report that how many uh, you know incident assigned to a particular groups and what is their state so i want to find out the incident okay on a specific group and what what is the their state all these things we want to find out that okay so let's build a report like that so i'll go back first in incident table and i'll see that because to build the report your data has to be correct and your data has to be ready so this is our incident table and in this incident table if i add that assignment group so i'll add this assignment group here So this is the assignment group and as this is a PDA environment I don't have much data I only have 18 incident and if I group by a show match with now if you see this in at that moment I have uh, incident list of incident the six incident and in between the six of incident uh, you know one incident is resolved uh, two incident are in a new state one is on hold and these three are I and mean, this these are the in progress incident so this is how my uh, you know record at that moment now how we can create a report right to create a report you have to type a report here and if you scroll down under the bottom you can see there is a module called application called reports under that you will be able to see that view and runs so here if you click that you will be able to find out all the reports that are present at that moment so these are the reports that i have created so far you can see these are the report i have created and here we have groups report because report can be shared by other user and then these are the global report so let's build first a report so i'll click the create new report first thing we have to put the report name i'll say that incident assigned to so this is the report uh, name here we can define that source type is data source or table at that moment as it is that it will be the table i'm not changing that and then in the table we should select the proper table so as we are going to report on the incident table i'll select the incident now click next so once we go to the next here we have various types of reports we can see that bar list uh, i mean uh, you know don't donut so of various type of reports time series there are depending on which type of report you are looking for you can select that so at that moment i'll select the bar i'll click next once we do that here we have additional information like group by on which field we want to do so let's say i'll do the group by on the state field and here we'll click that 
run once we do the run you can see at that moment it is showing that these are the record are in uh, in progress these are the new record these are the closed on hold and result so this is a graphical representation on a particular report and if you want to export that as a save as a png jpg we can directly do that so that's a very beautiful features now if we see that right now we are doing reporting on a particular table incident but there is no filter we can put a specific filter let's say that i will put a filter like assignment group is hardware once we put this hardware let's say that i belongs to the hardware group and i want to know that how many incident are in on hold how many incident are resolved how many incident are in progress so i can simply find out by this one next click next and then here we can you know define the color like use one color use uh, you know color palette or use chart color we can select the various option depending on our use cases so we can do that so i am not changing anything and then simply save that so it means that this report is right now saved and this report can be shared by other member or other group so let's say that i have created this report and i want to share this report to some of these my colleague like who all are part of this hardware team so they they can see that how many incidents are in progress state to share the report you can click the share button and see here there are various options are there you can click the share button here and then here you can define that specific group so let's say that whoever is part of this hardware group they should be able to see this report so let's do that and save that so it means that this report is shared to hardware team and this report is accessible by hardware team now this by seeing this report they can know that what is their um, uh, team is doing right now they can identify that their team is right now working in on a two incident their team is working on a uh, in progress stage one incident I and mean, two incident there is a one on hold incident and then one is the result within this team so this way they can identify what is happening on their team right similarly if you want to create few more report we can do that so i'll come to that point later so we have created a report now we can create a dashboard and inside the dashboard we can add multiple reports so let's say that in my group i have various uh, reports so this is the one report let's go back to that type again and i want to know that how many incident are in uh, in progress state so i can uh, you know select that count here and then here we can put that and state is in progress so that i know that how many how many incident are at the in progress and my team is working so right now two incident are in, in progress state and my team is working i'll do uh, insert and state it means that right now i have created two reports so let's go back to the view reports at that moment all and if i personalize and then uh, you know last modified and do get to a i have created two reports right now one is the incident assigned to hardware team and this one also incident assigned to hardware team but this is the single uh, you know single score and this is the uh, you know uh, bar score now we can create a dashboard and we can attach this report so that whenever somebody log in um, like in hardware team they can see every time how many incident are there to create the dashboard you can type that uh, dashboard and under the self service module you can see there is a um, uh, dashboard module is there you can simply click the dashboard and you will be able to find out all the dashboard that you have created so far so these are the dashboard that either created by myself or maybe shared by myself so you can simply click that create a dashboard button so once we click that the dashboard will be showing right now now here we can say that our name of this dashboard call hardware team dashboard so this might be my dashboard name and i own this dashboard and i'll simply save that so once we save that these dashboard are, are created and you can click the view dashboard to see the how dashboard looks like that so right now this is uh, if i click the view dashboard this is my dashboard looks like that and inside the dashboard we can add multiple things we can add the reports we can add widgets and we can very we can add various things at the moment i am going to add the reports that we have created i'll click plus sign and then here i'll go uh, and then i'll search the report so i'll say that type the report click that and 
at that moment we have created these two report if you remember that incident assigned to my team i'll add these two in this dashboard and go back and there is a this single score this dashboard i have created so these um, these two report are added to my uh, home screen and my dashboard and now when i log into whenever i log into my system uh, every time i will be able to see how many incident are uh, in work in progress state and how many in i uh, in more details about the incident so this way we can monitor our queue monitor our tickets monitor our problem that how many or incident how may how my group is performing right now if you want to rearrange little bit you can do that so you can click the simply this icon and then if you want to uh, divide it, this dashboard in a three by three or two by two depending on your case use case you can do that so i will click the two by two and now you can see two dashboard is showing at a, a single uh, you know page here it's count and here it's a list of record that's showing here also if you want to three by three you can do that and it's divided by three part and you can see what your team is doing right now so whenever i log into this system i will be able to see this dashboard now if i click here some reason i am not seeing my dashboard right so whenever i will be land there i should be able to see that dashboard to do that i'll click here go to the preferences display under this display you can see the current start page what should be the current start page we can select here and then select that use dashboard so once we do that it means that whenever i will log into the system i will always see the dashboard so i'll close that and here we go every time i'll go here i should be able to see my dashboard so this is my dashboard is showing in every time so i log out and log in i will go to the dashboard and see that so whenever you log into the service now first time you will be able to see this dashboard and you will know that what your team is doing and how your team is performing so there are various other options are there i'll do a couple of more reporting so let's go back to the reports module and if you go back to the reports module again and i can create one more report here so let's say that i'm going to create a report on a problem table so let's do that show all problem right and then under the table we can select the problem table and click next and there um there are various kind of report is there let's say that my favorite is like uh, you know uh this one multi pivot report pivot table you can select the pivot table and click next what will be happen we can select that in the row we can select that uh, you know uh, like uh, we can say that assigned to right and then in column we can say that assignment group so what will be happen if we do that i want to know that how many uh, uh, you know uh, assignment groups or how many groups are doing what so at that moment you can see that uh, problem solving groups have a, a six ticket and then problem coordinator have a three ticket and problem coordinator b have a two ticket so this way we can also know that which groups doing uh, or working on which number of records so we can even do that so i'll save that and then if if i want to directly add this report to dashboard you can simply click the share option and then add to dashboard we can select that what is the dashboard that we have last time we created that hardware dashboard you can select that hardware dashboard and uh, you know um, we can add there so once we click the add this report is going to be added to that hardware dashboard you can see this report is added to the hardware dashboard directly right i mean we can know that how many incident are working by whom we can really identify that now if you see we can even rearrange that so you can uh, do a little small like that we can do like that and then we can uh, you know rearrange if we want so it's a uh, you know very user friendly you can start using this dashboard all right so our dashboard is ready and we can use this dashboard now i'll show you that interactive filter like i want to add interactive filter based on that filter this will be react like i want to add a field called state here once you select the state based on the state the value is going to be show to create the interactive filter you can directly type that uh, in uh, interactive and here we go we have interactive filter 
we can click that interactive filter and there are already interactive filter is available you can use any interactive filter existing interactive filter i am going to create a uh, you know um, um, a new interactive filter for demonstration purpose there are already existing predefined interactive filter is there so let's say that i'll select the choice list at that moment so there are various type of interactive filter is there reference date group cascade filter various interesting filter is there i'll say that state uh, is that uh, like state one something like that i'll put that name table and then fill so let's say that i will select the task table because task table is a parent table so i'll select the task here so that this interactive filter can work on that incident and problem in our dashboard so i'll select the task table as we know the task table is a parent and then field will select the state field so i'll select the state field and let's save that so our interactive filter is going to be uh, saved so at that moment the interactive filter is saved right now here we have option called select multiple input select single input, radio button, checkbox, depending on your use case, you can select that. So I'll select the select uh, single input and save that. This interactive filter is saved. And now we have to select this checkbox because I want to interact with all the incident problem chain. So I'll just uh, apply this all table in hierarchy, save that. Now, if I go here and simply I'll go and my type is the interactive, I'll type that interactive filter. And here I will uh, search that, uh, you know, our type is that uh, choice and state one. This is our interactive filter, we'll add that. So this is our interactive filter and then this interactive filter has a various state. And whenever I'll select that work in progress, all these, uh, you know, reports should be interact based on that, right? So I want to do that way so that whenever I'll select the state, this all report is started, uh, you know, acting on that. To do that, what we have to do, we have to click uh, again here the settings button and here we have to click the settings and here we have an option called follow interactive filter. We'll check that and done. I'll do the same step for all these reports so that all the report can follow the interactive filter. I will uh, select that. So our interactive filter is now started working. If we select all, you can see all these field, uh, you know, report is started loading and showing all the data. Whenever we'll select open, all this report is started interacting that. Whenever we'll select work in progress, all these report are starting interacting that. We'll click close complete and this is how they are interacting. So basically, depending on the filter, our dashboard or maybe our report can be react. So this is how we can create the interactive filter. There are various other methods in the reports, but for the demonstration purpose, I am not going to deep dive all those steps. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.